Starlight Celebration is almost here, and I certainly hope you're in the mood because I know I sure am. You guys like my Christmas decorations? Yeah. Look, I don't have a lot of money to decorate, okay? I've been looking forward to it, so make sure you're dressed in your winter's finest. When this kicks off less than a week from now, you're going to be talking to Am Garanji over in Old Gradania. That's the old amphitheater, so make sure you're, you know, you're wearing something nice when you go up to talk to her. I mean, after all, you're getting, you're getting some pretty good items out of this quest line she's giving you. And what is it that you're getting, you ask? Well, you're getting two really nice items. Well, the first is going to be a mount, and it is a, it's a, it's a reindeer mount. <laughs> We're getting a reindeer mount, people. I kind of like it. I do like the chocobo barding that I've picked up on my character. I do love the nice seasonal wintry dress up and the nice snug coat that goes around the chocobo's head. That's pretty cool. Now we're actually getting a reindeer. And I know it's kind of, it's probably an elk. But at the same time, elks are usually much bigger and not as thin as this. And reindeers are a bit thinner than elk, if that makes sense. So it's, it's an elk slash reindeer. But uh, when people talk about Christmas, are they talking about elk or are they talking about reindeer? That's a deer. That's a caribou. It doesn't matter. Anyways, in addition to that, <laughs> we're going to be getting a really nice, very pretty blue Christmas tree. And I believe these, you can get multiple of these. So it'd be really nice to string around your housing area. Just kind of put them up and lining up going around your house. So very pretty. I like the fact that it's decorated in shining blue. So you've already strung lights around it. So that's going to be a very nice tree. So if you don't do anything, you're going to at least want to log in and complete the quest line on all of your relevant characters that you want to have a complete. I'm going to be doing it on all of mine. Uh, at least log in and do that if you do nothing else because what typically happens as you already know once the season's over the stuff's gone until the next year then usually it drops on the mog station and you gotta pay cash for it but speaking of the mog station there's a lot of nice things you can look at there's a number of these things on here are really nice to recommend picking up obviously the snowman you're gonna want one of those if you have a house here's the barding i was talking about that you can see on my character you can get some delicious food uh, really nice choir attire um, and then, of course, you have your orchestra and your big uh, starlight tree. Definitely got to have one of those if you care about housing and, you know, making it decorated. And, of course, the starlight robe, which my character is wearing right now. There's a starlight attire you can also get that's further down. Comes down any of the stockings that have the snowflake decoration. And then the gals, um, it's kind of more of a, t it's not a tube top. It's, it's a cutoff dress. Uh, so if you're looking for that kind of style, um, and that is a very popular one, especially for the, the tights. you got to get the starlight tights. Reindeer suit. And when I click on this, guys, you can dress as a freaking reindeer. I didn't even know this was here. You could dress as a freaking reindeer. You could dress as a reindeer riding a freaking reindeer. <laughs> so dumb and a cart one of the things that's really nice about final fantasy 14 is all the seasonal events and all the stuff they give you that's it's like actually quality stuff to you like um the cosmetics the outfits and stuff and it's free if you're playing on that time i mean obviously you know not counting you purchase the game and this expansions and the subscription right but you know you're probably doing that anyways if you're on final fantasy 14 so basically it's giving you extra free stuff for these seasonal events and then you can buy them next year if you missed it but it's always like good stuff like cosmetics and decorations and emotes and stuff like that so i strongly recommend you pick it up because you know on some other mmos christmas events are just kind of crappy they're not very good uh, a lot of mmos just like here you can uh go and click this item once per day and it gives you 10 consumables and that and gives you a minor increase to experience you gain for an hour and a half it's like what, what what kind of crappy thing is that i mean okay i guess if that's extra on top of other good stuff sure fine but Final Fantasy XIV has really nice stuff for their holiday things. I know some people, if you look through my earlier history, you may have seen that funny video I made in Guild Wars 2. Guild Wars 2 has a really good seasonal event as well because they have usually the activities and jumping puzzles and stuff. That's really fun and decorative with festive music and things like that. So they have really good ones too. <laughs> One seasonal thing that I really miss was Black Desert Online. It used to have um, a really nice Christmas uh, decoration and it was not like uh, the world's version of Christmas it was legit Christmas so it kind of didn't fit with the lore but no one really cared because it was just kind of fun and Santa would fly around in the sleigh and drop presents so you can run and pick them up and they weren't the best stuff but it was kind of cool and the music was fantastic because that game has amazing music and it was nice just having the Christmas aesthetic but now uh, Pearl Abyss you know the developers of Black Desert they don't do that anymore they don't uh, 
they don't have the Christmas events like they used to. Kind of sucks. It's like they're, they're happily taking your money for everything else, but uh, they don't care about your customs, right? Especially when all other MMORPGs are doing stuff like this. So, anyways, I think it'll be a lot of fun. I do love the Christmas things, and it's a good opportunity to kind of remember the, you know, think about the others in your community that help them out. You know, winter is usually the time of year for these things because winter historically. You know, before our modern age where we have a lot more comforts in winter, it was very hard to live through winter because the food was scarce and the heat was more difficult to come by in the shelter. It was difficult and the air crops didn't grow. So winter was always a challenge, which is why these festivals tend to be very nice to have in the winter because people kind of come together and take care of each other, which is something I think we all really need at points, you know. And it's spreading kindness and gift giving. There's some really cool lore on the Starlight Celebration itself involving the Dragon Song War up in the Ishgard, and that's where they get the red coats from and everything from the Starlight outfits. So kinda of implemented the traditional apparel and attire from Christmas into the Starlight Celebration. It's a lot of fun though. So let me know if you're looking forward to it, if you're excited for the Starlight Celebration. I know I am. And I'm really looking forward to dressing up as a reindeer riding a reindeer. You can stack reindeers in this game. You can be a reindeer riding a reindeer. How many other games do you don't let you do that? 